Okay, if you don't do a lot of chickens and you want to make your own plucker, there's multiple types of caps that you can use, 4-inch PVC or the 4-inch sewer, which is a little thinner and flatter. I'm going to try and find the center just by sticking a hole saw bit inside and approximating so that I can thread a bolt through and make this uh, something that I can put in a in the drill here to spin. It's not going to be perfect. So we're going to take a carriage bolt. I this is a quarter inch carriage bolt, so I got a drill bit that's one size larger. Tighten this down on here, like so, so that we can chuck it into a drill and it'll spin. Now, the other thing we have to do is put our fingers in it. These are replacements for a plucker. And these are pretty good sized ones here for all kinds of different poultry. And to do that, we're going to use a step bit, which is handy because the step bit is multiple different drill bit sizes in one. So in this case, if it's not quite the right size, you just bump it up to the next. Probably sneak one more in there. Not very scientific in the way I put these in. I just put them in in random places. I would like to do a couple on the outside edge just to catch a little more if possible. All right, so we have the carriage bolt tightened in there. So we'll get that chucked in the drill, and then here is your uh, chicken plucker. So this only took a couple of minutes to make. What do you think? Three, four minutes to drill holes and pop these in. Um, fairly inexpensive, fairly quick. So if you were doing 100 birds, this might not be for you. It might be better to buy a commercial plucker if you're just doing three to ten birds periodically for your family this should be more than sufficient and a lot of bang for your buck